Hi guys, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this video, we are gonna be talking about troubleshooting crashes or output options that don't properly go through, don't process and send where they're supposed to be sending. So in this scenario, we have an event that's set up with green screen, it's printing a five by seven, it's emailing and it's also saving the uh, original images and the output image to a folder. And when we run it, it then fails and crashes and we bring it back up and it says the software was not properly shut down um, and uh, it, you run the risk of corrupting the license. That's just a warning message. It's not a, that is not the error. That's just a warning saying something's going on that you want to look at. So the first step would be to go through and uncheck all the different options and I see this all the time that people will have 10 different options checked. They're brand new and they've enabled every different option they possibly can and those are real difficult to find out what's actually causing the problem. What, what you want to do is uncheck all the options except for one and then run through a session. See if that works, if what you expect to happen happens. If it doesn't, then look at that. So if uh, printing fails, the most common issue is the template. Um, a lot of times people download images that are not the most professional images. Maybe they just Googled something and grabbed an image. Those type of things are kind of, you might run into some issues there. So swap to a different template, one of the ones that came with the software, and see if maybe there's a graph, or if that works, then look at your template and there might be a graphic inside your template that you want to remove and then test again and see if that fixes the issue. A lot of times those graphics can uh, damage those templates if they're not um, good graphics. Um, file names can cause problems like that. So let's say you download and it adds number symbol and a whole bunch of special characters inside the file name. Those type of things can damage a template. So normal file names, uh, graphics and images from reputable companies that sell graphics are gonna help you avoid those type of issues. So the next thing on the list is the email. Run through with email only. So even if you have a problem with the print, you wanna do the same thing. You don't wanna just check everything and try it again. Check each one separately. So if email fails, then go, the first thing to do is Go to your email account and test it. If if it's failing here, that's going to be an issue. And in newer versions, we actually try to uh, prevent it from crashing on these type of issues. But uh, depending on the version you're on, you might run into this. So double check uh, the, um, your password. Maybe you changed it inside your email client because you know there is some sort of security issue um, in this situation. I, it would have failed and I would have uh, had an issue because I changed my password here so it would fail. So you want to make sure that it's testing okay. Um, most common issue there is that less secure apps becomes disabled. So if you, you're using Gmail or Yahoo Mail or Ymail, uh, make sure that less secure apps is still enabled uh, in your security options. And then Double check your password, log out from your browser and try logging in with the password you think it is just to verify that you have the correct password because a lot of times we change those and forget that we changed it and our computer remembers it but Darkroom doesn't know that it's been updated. So uh, double check your password, make sure everything's spelled correctly. Um, so that is email. Let's head back over and next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at um, save output. So the most common issue I see here is, you, once again, you wanna try each one of these separately. Um, sorry to beat the dead horse, but each one of these we wanna test to make sure they're all working independently of the other ones. So a lot of times somebody will uh, put in a odd character, like there's a folder on their desktop. Let's, let's create a folder on our desktop. Um, So Windows will allow me to create a folder like this, but if Darkroom is trying to save to that folder, 
you will have a bunch of problems. I'm not even sure what it, it's probably at the very top. Um, so that's something you want to avoid. Any special characters, your folder names, your file names should be one or numbers, letters, underscores, spaces, and hyphens. I would, I typically even stay away from spaces because uh, web stuff doesn't like spaces. So I, I do numbers, letters, and um, underscores. Uh, typically, but uh, avoid special characters in file names and folders. The other issue might be that you have a, in your last event, you were outputting to a flash drive and that drive is no longer available. So your J drive, you typically would have a flash drive plugged in, but you forgot and it's plugged into, let's say a different port and now it's your G drive. So, um, Whenever you test this out, make sure that the folder is a good folder in a real location. I hope this has been helpful and hopefully it helps avoid some of that little extra stress that we don't need in our life. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.